Hi guys, my name's Andy and today I'm going to be reviewing Dos Padiras 5 Plus 5 PX. Uh, like I said in my last room review, I thought I'd get this one done because uh, it's going down, it's a really easy drinker and if I leave it a few more weeks there won't be nothing left there to review. So, um, this one's for you Matty and just to get a little bit of clarity, the Dos Madeiras in English means two woods. The 5 plus 5 is the total of years aged in those woods, which is 10 years total. And the PX stands for the Pedro Jimenez, which is a variety of sherry that is produced in Spain, which is absolutely umptuous and sweet. It's gorgeous. Now, this rum is produced by Williams and Humberts. And they're a famous company that's been producing sherry and brandy in Spain for over 130 years. And they export to over 75 countries worldwide. So massive history. Uh, they say that they use rums from Barbados because of their light and smooth and uh, fine, refined aroma and taste, which you uh, Barbados rum lovers know that anyway. And they also use rums from Guyana because of their heavier body, fuller character. And you guys who like your neighbour rums also know that. So the meld between these two types of rum with the sherry casks and the American oak and the, the thyme element, you end up with a wondrous product. It really is good. Um, the rum, once it gets to five years aging in the Caribbean, it gets transferred to Jerez de la Frontera um, in Spain, to Williams and Humbert's uh, bodegas, where it gets its final agings, which basically they transfer it for three years into cask, which once contained Palo uh, Cordado Sherry, or Palo Cordado Sherry, and then it gets transferred into casks for a further two years with Don Guido Pedro Jimenez casks, which give it the real sweet sherry elements to it. Amazing. Uh, then it gets transferred, like I said, into those Pedro Jimenez casks, which, by the way, I've just mentioned that the sherry itself are both casks. They're aged for over 20 years, these sherries. So if you can imagine um, that you get the, the sugars and the the um, residues that must get sucked into those casks and then when they put the rum in there they draw them out and that's why you end up with such a dark and sweet rum with sherry, so much sherry element to it it's just off the scale if you're a sherry lover you're going to love this um, you know you end up because of this aging you end up with a rum which is got such full flavour and is really complex it's beautiful rum. Now I'm not saying it's for everybody because if you're not a sherry lover and you, you don't like sweet rums because this is a sweet rum it may not be for you but it just so happens that I am a sherry lover and I'm also like a sweet rum from time to time so it's right up my street so I'm going to carry on with the review. Um, the colour, if you look at the colour, dark rich mahogany colour. It really is a dark rich mahogany colour and the aroma, that's like a little bit of heaven, it bloody is. Uh, it's amazing aroma on it. You smell it, take a deep smell. Lovely, shared sweetness, really is beautiful. Lovely, deep, shared elements from the PX cast and, the, and the, the, the two types of sherry. It smells of sticky dates, stone fruit, sticky dates, figs and raisins. And there's a sumptuous aroma of chocolate, roasted coffee and vanilla. It really is beautiful. It's, I keep putting up to my nose, but I'm almost missing, I'm putting it straight to the lips. Right, I'm going to take a, a, a taste of this and we'll see what we can taste in it. My God, that is a really good, so smooth. First initial impression is sweet, 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 very sweet indeed. Um, if you think that you get the three years 
in the Paolo Cordado and then you get the two years in the Pedro Jimenez casks. So you obviously get that luscious sherry element up front, which is very sweet. Pleasingly silky smooth, it really is. Gorgeously smooth, leading to a really um, velvety, buttery mouthfeel, it really is. It's just so easy to drink. Um, it's, it's like I say, that velvety, buttery mouthfeel really gives it that luxurious feeling. It just makes it such an easy sipper. Uh, you know, there'll be people that can get into this rum who um, straight, you know, if somebody was getting into rums and they picked up this one and they tried it, they might turn around and it'd be so easy to drink. But it's, you know, it's gorgeous. It's one to appreciate. Um, you then get drying oaky spiciness and right through the rum there's a backbone of maple and pecan sweetness so it's you get the shared element you've got the sweetness but there's that sort of maple and pecan element that goes right through it it's beautiful and the finish Sherried oak tobacco oh, and a little tingle of pepper. Absolutely, this is a really luxurious rum. It really is. It's uh, it's easy drinker. It's something a little bit different. I like that. I, you know, they've got the real sherry element to it. In general, an absolute spanker. Um, this, it comes in a nice tube uh, if you see on the front there it says uh, 2013 rum xp uh, gold best of class i don't doubt that for a minute the guys on the rum xp I, I i certainly know that they know their stuff and uh, if they've awarded that gold it certainly deserves it it is a corker i can imagine only being doing a blind tasting on this wow blow you away i would have thought that's why it's got a gold anyway my name's Andy. Uh, until next time, when I will be doing a review of the Rum Nation Jamaican Pot Still Rum. Enjoy.